Stash away four years ago, this robo advisor took over Malaysia with the bank. But it's been a few years now. Is Stash away still worth investing in 2022? But before we continue, let's have a quick recap of what Stash Away is. Stash Away is a robo advisor that helps investors to invest their money into a portfolio of global ETF. If you don't know what an ETF is, you can pause this video and check out my video in the link first. I went to the streets to ask if anyone was investing in Stash Away, but I only found one person who does. Invest in Stash Away. You too. You too. Oh, that would be great. Yes. So you. Don't invest in Stash Away now. Yeah. Oh, why is it so? Uh, uh, I keep making losses. Keep making losses? Yeah. So, are you happy with it? No. I needed more response, so I asked my employees and even got one of our followers who actually invested in Stash Away just to see whether hey, they are happy with their investment. You invest in Stash Away, right? Yeah. What do you think about the performance? Okay, a long term investment. You 20%. making money or losing money? 20%. 20% uh, up to now. Uh. Making money. Uh. Making money. Uh. Oh, Jake. Oh, yes. You invest in Stash Away, right? Yeah. How's it so far? Not really happy with it. I lost like 80 bucks. Yo, hey, Jemson. Hello. So, uh, are you a Stash Away investor? Yes, from 2020. Yes. How's the performance so far? Are you happy with it? When I started, like, the market was already down, so the upside was better. La. Then it just starts, started going down and down and down. Do you mind sharing with me how much you've lost in terms of percentage? It has been like down 30 or like 35% the whole like whole of beginning of this year I think can you say if you're happy or unhappy the performance well unhappy la. <laughs> because it's like the market recovered right? and I bought at the dip right? how, how am I still getting like it's getting worse you know? it's not even like a consistent worse it's like going down and down so are you still invested in stash away yes but I took out from the from the uh, portfolio I right. got into the flex, the flexible one and I only bought S&P 500 that's their opinion stash away what about my own investment in stash away <laughs> <laughs> See, losing money as well. <sighs> so, what's happening? You know what? Let's go and ask the man in charge. Where's Ken? Eh? Hey, you know where's Ken? Eh? Don't know. Don't know. Hey, bro. Sorry, uh, you guys know where's Ken? Eh? No. Ah, this is Ken. Eh? Ah. Hey, Ken! Peter! Finally, I found you! Okay. <laughs> If you look at the major benchmarks as well, S&P is down 18%, bonds are down more than 10%, Bitcoin is down more than 60%, so of course we're losing some as well. The truth is, I already know Stash Away is going to lose money since the bull run in 2021 slowed down. That's why I wasn't too bothered. Because it's an ETF, a passive investment, which means its performance will simply follow the market trend. If the market is bullish, performance is going to be good. And if the market is bearish, the performance is expected to be bad. That is the character of an ETF. If you invest in an ETF expecting it to perform well when the general market trend is bearish, uh, it's kind of like buying a Honda Civic and expect it to drive well on an off-road jungle trail. Huh? Losing money? Then why still want to invest? The key to make money with an ETF is consistency and long term. You can't invest one lump sum in the early of the year and then expect after one or two years you have great returns. It doesn't work like that. If that's your expectation, you will have a higher chance of getting that kind of return through investing in individual stock or actively manage unit trust fund. And if this kind of bearish market continue, which I believe it will, you should not be expecting great performance from your stash away portfolio in in the short term. You can only expect good performance in the long run. Let's take a look at the 2007 subprime crisis as an example. Now, if you look at this chart, the S&P 500 went into a bearish trend until 2009, hitting its lowest. If you invested lump sum of money in 2007, your losses will be more than 50%. However, if you took the dollar cost averaging approach by investing a consistent amount on a monthly basis, 
your losses will be a bit lesser. Then by 2009, the bearish trend ended, the economy recovered, and the S&P 500 began its bullish trend. By 2021, the market shot up to 4,800 points, which provided their investor who stay invested with more than double the return. Again, depending on the strategy that you adopt, if you invested lump sum in 2007, you would have break even with your investment by 2013, and by 2021, your returns would be more than double. Now, if you took a DCA approach, your investment will likely double as well. Imagine if the investor was not patient enough and withdrew all his funds by 2009 when he lost 50% of his investment, he will surely regret by 2021. Now, the point is this, ETF investment is a long-term game. The performance is dependent on long-term growth of a country's economy. It is not meant for short-term profit. After all, it's a passive investment fund. If your concern is short-term profit and more active investment that can outperform the general market when market is bearish, then an ETF shouldn't be the tool for you. Anyway, this doesn't mean that there's nothing you can do during this bearish market. Well, there's an option in Stash Away that you can use to help investors better position themselves in this bearish market. So, I got Ken to explain it a little bit more. All these years, we've heard that people want more control on their portfolio. Some of them have more preference. Sometimes they want to build from scratch. Sometimes they want to add something and you know, take away something from our portfolios. So now we've enabled people to do that. Clients can choose from over 55 different ETFs to build portfolios of their own. When you make your own choices, you have to be very careful and still have a long-term mindset. So what I encourage people to do is to see what they're trying to invest before they build their own portfolios. Mm. You can choose whatever you want. You can either have something like a full S&P 500, throw in NASDAQ, uh, you can throw in a bit of a th thematic portfolios uh, in the ETFs mm. as well if you want. I think for the long term, you can afford a little bit more equities in there. So if it's short term, a little bit more fixed income and goal to be a bit more protective. So it doesn't mean that if it's flexible, you can do whatever you want, go in and out of the market and trade like, like crazy. So figure out what you want to invest for, pick the right ETFs, and every now and then, if you want to change, you are able to. There's no charges to go in and out. In fact, it's free until June 2023. So experiment all you like. Uh, once uh, the fees kick in in 2023, it's still the same old 0.8 to 0.2 that you know and love. If you prefer a slightly more active method of investing, but you do not want to invest in individual stocks or unit trust fund, you can consider the flexible portfolio. That way, you can allocate your asset accordingly to better position yourself during this bearish market. And hopefully, when the market rebounds, right, you will benefit from it. However, if you are expecting ETF to give you good returns during a bearish market, well, it's not worth it.